Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today um, I have this battery that I was messing with last time I was in Portugal and I've actually gotten some oh where is it you can't see it it's over there spare parts um, but I'm gonna try and see if it has uh, maybe made up its mind since I was here last the BMS was all over the place so um, yeah let's see what we got here and if the BMS that it came with is still a total mess, I have another one for it. So this battery for oh, we could we could turn it around. You get the the advertising side of it is from Enjoybot. <clears throat> yep, that's what they called it. Um, I think it would look better this way. I forget if that's how that was supposed to sit, but advertising and you can read that as well maybe that was how it, mm. never mind let's let's get into it and get that out of the way I didn't assemble it fully because I knew we were gonna take it apart again so it's it's kind of uh, in between assembly here I forget how I got this out of here a start so here is the BMS that uh, is not currently as responsive as one would have liked so it's a kind of a cool BMS uh, I want to show you the one I got it's it's this one it's a JK dash B2 a 8 s 20 P it can do four or eight cells and it's ever so slightly smaller than the one that is coming out of here but both of them are 200 amps and why is it 200 amps because it, the battery says 200 amps all over the box and if I put in a small BMS in a box that says 200 amps if someone else ever gets a hold of it they're gonna be in for a surprise so yeah never mind um this one has bluetooth and it's uh it's the same bms brand as the big battery i have back home in denmark and uh, so i can communicate with it through the the jk bms app on my phone and uh, yeah that would be neat so but let's get the cells out of the box here and put them on the table let's just put them upside down there so this battery consists of four of these 280 amp cells uh, oh, lithium iron phosphate batteries and so this side is up apparently heavy so now we have the protective blue plastic and this white thing is <laughs> was on the bottom and was supposed to be glued in place in the battery but yeah it isn't anymore so how did I put this together I checked it okay so I put gaffer on it uh, I don't have this nice transparent tape with the strengthening inside but ah, I guess um, this does the trick I get access to the negative and the positive uh, we need the negative uh, and we have the we have the 
BMS wire right there and we have a temperature sensor. Yeah, let's do some measuring, see what voltage we're at. So we'll check the cells. We should be at DC. Do you see? You DC? You do see? You 3.402. Three point, what was that? Three point four zero two, and the next one is a bit higher. Yeah, three point four seven two, and okay. So there is the first cell that is a bit low. So we could charge that, and I don't think it makes much of a difference, but we could. It, oh yeah, that that might actually be quite the the difference there's not isn't I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a new piece of tape next time. <laughs> there. I have actually purchased a little power supply since last time I messed with this, so I can actually charge up the first cell over here that is a bit low so uh, I'm charging that a little bit and then I have to go watch my own video to remember how this thing was sitting and yeah I'll do that okay I have figured out how this uh, was connected when I took it apart so uh, I have connected these leads I just need to pop these in and the, the BMS will be on again and controlling the battery but I want to wait until this has come up to voltage with everything else. Uh, it's still charging up here. I've set it to 3.5 volts and it's taking in a couple of amps and the voltage has gone up. Uh, we can just see that. We could do it like that. Uh, 3.44. So we need... Um, how much is that? 30 milliamps? Uh, sorry. 30, 30 millivolts or something like that. 3.73. Yeah, 30 millivolts. And they will be kind of equal. And that would, uh, that would mean that all the cells would be perfect for the BMS to just work. Um, if it works. If it doesn't work, well, then we have another one. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, so this one is now 3.472. And this one is now 3.482. I got totally distracted looking at cat videos on YouTube. Um, I think it's close enough. Let's try and connect this. Let's do the thermometer first. I shouldn't be able to hurt anything. And then the the BMS thinky, the the balancing and stuff. So there, it should be on. So is it on? Is it working? What do we have? This is the most positive one. This is the connection coming into the BMS. So we have 13.88 volts. Do we have anything coming out? We have 2.2 volts. That was about what we saw last time. So that uh, is not an improvement. Someone said that I should try and short. I should try and short out the BMS this way between the input and the output. And as it is absolutely not working, I think um, I think we should try and do that. Okay, here it goes. It shouldn't do much. It's just the there's nothing connected to the output port, so let's see. Positive, negative. Oh, it worked. Dang it. Hmm. Okay, can we pull power from it then? 
Okay, I have this little pump. I think it uses five amps ish. I don't know. Um, but it has the added benefit of you are not um, at all in doubt if it's running or not. So let's see. I have it connected to the to the negative pole over here. And that should be the positive pole. Uses about 2.3 amps, I see. And it's all over the table. Two point eight amps. Okay, so maybe I just wasted fifty eight euros on a new BMS for this, and I could have just shorted out this, just short that out shortly, <laughs> and everything would be good. Dang it! I'm gonna wait a little bit and come back to this, and see if um, if it still works. Okay, so I have the benefit of me. I read all the comments that you uh, that you do on my videos, and this is the comments of the video that I did where I was messing with the battery. And Papa Reads World uh, said, "Haha, some BMSs can be activated by shorting the negative out to the negative in. Why not try that?" And um, I said, are you sure about that? And he uh, gave a little bit of an explanation and he was right, it actually works. So I'm gonna reply that here two months later that he was right. So uh, yeah, cool, thank you. Okay, I am working on putting this back together. I do wanna check from now on, from time to time that it is still working, still outputting power and it is 13.78 volts. Um, and I found some good tape, which was really good for mounting the BMS back onto there. And we have this negative lead that comes up there. Needs to go up. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yep, we need everything to fit in there. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> Put the lid back on. <laughs> so, yeah, I am taping it back up. I hope I don't have to get in here again for a while. God damn, and then I film, and then the bloody thing doesn't work anymore. Just because the camera comes on. Hmm. Okay, so that's how we're playing. I'm gonna do the sides as well. Okay, this blue crap, I'm pretty sure it, it's it's a shrink wrap uh, something. And I'm pretty sure it has shrunk on me while I've been messing with this because I for the heck of it, can't get that in there. So I did actually find that the battery had uh, had the terminals so that the advertising was visible together with the... Uh, oh, it's heavy. Oh, so it has to come in this way. your fingers so how did that go over there hmm 
that naturally took way more effort than I uh, than I anticipated. So we're gonna connect these, and it would be it goes like that. And I have insulated these to have them as little dangerous as possible until I mount them. And here without it touching the, the red one otherwise we might see some sparks we don't want that there it's in I can turn it around so you can see it a little bit there I'll just make sure that it's Again, I like this fat little screwdriver because there is no way I can short circuit anything uh, between that one and that one with this one. If I took a wrench, I could. Maybe I should take a wrench, but uh, I think I want. I think I will. I'll loosen this one and. that really good Come on. put it over there and that is now the battery done if we still have some voltage on it And we do 13.79 volts fixed I hope so with that we'll close this up again some locking mechanisms they are not perfect anymore it will do so that is the video about fixing this enjoy but battery which I'm gonna put down again now I have the thumbnail I did not get to use the new BMS here which would also have been an interesting video but yeah uh, I did this uh, video trying to fix it three months ago and I got the good comment on um, I should try and short the negative uh, in and out on the BMS about two months ago so uh, I had already put this BMS into order to try and uh, get something to be ready to fix this when I got down here I should have waited last time I was here I was also looking at BMS's there was a little bit of lead time on the BMS's so I couldn't actually get the BMS while I was here last time so now I, um, I got the BMS and it turned out to be something really simple so uh, yeah it's really warm here but uh, thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day and thank you for commenting your good solutions I do read them bye bye